and I won't be reading the messages right away, but maybe um, at the end of the practice, I will have an opportunity to do this. But it's kind of quite nice. We have this community spirit, so we recognize faces. Um, many of you I recognize as well, and uh, I imagine you also recognize each other, yeah? So it's not just the teacher you're kind of in connection with, you're also in connection with um, each and everyone who joins uh, every Tuesday, every week. Um, and it does make this sense of community, make it more real. Yeah. I don't know if you do this when you join uh, big groups. Um, it's actually scrolling through the screen and just seeing, looking at people's faces. And also, if you know that other people are doing this, maybe just allow a gentle smile on your face yeah it's always very nice to um when you look at the screen to find people nodding smiling it kind of makes it very uh, very welcoming it makes it very um very friendly and i think that sense of friendliness that's kind of one of the ingredients of happiness yeah and this is something um i wanted just to chat with you before the meditation practice i went on a walk this morning and I like I like just go on walking, and um, I've got I've got two dogs, and uh, uh, when they run away or when they get too preoccupied with what I'm looking at, they just take their time and they just escape into the woods, probably just enjoying the woods as much as I do. And um, so this morning I went deeper into the woods and found my I call this my uh, uh, tree friend. Um, and this is like a fallen tree and uh, it's people maybe who, who came to some of my um, uh, groups uh, maybe heard me talking about that fallen tree and I used to go there for about a year uh, doing my morning uh, Qigong morning exercises and it, it was really nourishing very supportive and I always kind of felt as if I'm, I kind of build a relationship with that tree and I haven't been there for a while because um, different circumstances. So I went there today, this morning, and I said hello to the tree. And my part of the brain said, gosh, the Julie, that's really weird. You're talking to a tree. And then I started noticing little bugs are kind of are really just kind of going back and forth on the branch. And I was really captivated. I was completely zoomed into that experience. And First, I saw maybe like five or 10 of them, and then there were 15 or 20, and they were kind of almost multiplying, and thinking, oh my God, I'm manifesting bugs now, <laughs> power of the mind. And then I suddenly had this realization that because I was so absorbed in this awareness, just really, really focusing in what was going on, it's almost like my vision was enhancing. And I had this like shivery, this excitement in my body, like, you know, this proper sense of joy and happiness inside. Yeah. So this experience of being so uh, kind of uh, engrossed in what you are experiencing or kind of looking at or listening or feeling this kind of single focused attention. So really, really zoomed in has this potential of, of, helping us to open up and connect with deep sense of contentment and happiness. So I was thinking about this when I came home and, and I really felt that um, each one of us um, is worth of appreciation. Yeah. Each, each one of us is worth of happiness and contentment and um, harmony and peace and uh, well-being, delight and joy. And in to, tonight's practice, the practice, the meditation practice will be the same meditation practice as we always do. It has pretty much the same structure, but I really want to kind of to focus in this practice with a question. Is there some happiness possible in this moment? Is there some happiness possible in this moment? Yeah. So when we practice in mindfulness, we, we're sharing, uh, we, we, we're shaping our experience. Yes, yeah, so this mindfulness, this awareness which we're working on, it always has some sort of focus. And happiness is a skill. Yeah. Happiness is not something that happens to us. It's art. We practice happiness. Yeah. So we feel happier when we focus on what's in front of us. And I really, really experienced that this morning. I really 
felt it. Yeah. So when we're practicing meditations and we we're trying to uh, use um, our kind of skills um, in our daily life, we have those kind of hints. We really touch in meditation a little bit, and then we just go into real life and we find those connections. We we find those kind of connections between the practice, what we're doing in this very uh, contained environment. Yeah. Which is quite easy sometimes for us to to maintain in the daily life. It's a little bit more difficult in daily life we get distracted yeah as i was walking back i was already teaching and i was thinking about something else and thinking about the dogs and i was thinking about you know all sorts of stuff so the moment was gone yeah the moment was gone so fast as sudden as it kind of found me this kind of this happiness this enjoyment i kind of found that moment and then it was just gone. I lost my focus. I moved my focus. Yeah, the mind was doing what the mind does. The mind wanders. And our restless mind will always want to wander. Yeah. It always wanders. So we, our mind naturally is never still. However, the natural quality of the mind is stillness and peacefulness. And we will be much happier when we focus in the here and now. So when we will be practicing today, just keep checking in. Is there some happiness possible in this moment? And there's a quote, I don't know where I got it from. Uh, so I can't, I can't uh, attribute it to anyone. A human mind is a wandering mind. And a wandering mind uh, is an unhappy one. Yeah, I will say it again. A human mind is a wandering mind. And the wandering mind is an unhappy one. So the training of the mind requires awareness, requires effort and intention. And of course, it requires practice. So I'm just going to invite you to join me uh, in this practice now. So find a posture that is comfortable and sustainable. So as we're settling into this meditation practice, we're just checking in with the body. We're checking for qualities of stability and groundedness. Whether you're sitting, standing or lying down. We can always connect with the ground beneath us. Allowing the body to receive support from the surface beneath you. And as best you can, giving weight up to gravity. And beginning to notice how you're feeling right now, what's present and your experience in this moment. So having this broad sense of awareness of the whole body, the mind, emotional atmosphere. Being present with your experience with mindfulness. Allowing all of the experience to be just as it is. Right now, in this moment, nothing is changing.
And now beginning to turn your awareness to the breath. Noticing the fact that the body is breathing. And if focusing on the breath is uncomfortable for you for whatever reason, you can always place attention to the hands and perhaps just allow the hands to gently open and close and rest your awareness there. And if being with the breath is quite comfortable, see if it's possible to gently invite the breath to go a little bit deeper. And then to flow out a little bit slower. Letting the body settle into a soothing rhythm of breathing. Deep and slow. Every time the mind wanders into thinking, gently inviting it back to your experience of breathing. Every time you notice the mind wandering, bringing it back with gentleness and kindliness. The mind only does what it's meant to do. It's a wandering mind. And we're also helping the mind to give us access to that sense of happiness by focusing on what just in front of us or within us, the sensations of breathing. Now bringing attention back into the body and beginning to scan the body from the top of the head towards the toes. Noticing any places of tension or holding. Maybe checking in with the forehead and the temples. And all these little muscles around the eyes. Letting them soften, release any tension. Perhaps unclenching the jaw, unclenching the teeth. Sometimes it's helpful to Maybe even gently part the lips or have a gentle smile. See what works for you. Something that helps the mind to connect with peacefulness or friendliness. As you notice in the neck and the shoulders, Simply letting all the tension to melt away.
letting the arms and hands to feel loose and soft, relaxed. Just simply inviting the, the hands, the fingers to release all the tension, all the holes in there. And bringing awareness to the back. From the top of the back all the way down to the lower back. Any sense of stress or tension in the back. Just letting go of that. And then bringing the tension to the front of the torso, to the chest. Having a sense of the lungs inside the rib cage. If we're letting go of the holding in the rib cage, the lungs will have an easier job. Gently expanding and subsiding effortlessly. And then letting the belly be soft. Maybe just lingering here for a few moments. Feeling how the belly expands as we breathe in. And then relaxes, softens as we breathe out. Really feeling into the simplicity of this experience. There might be a sense of enjoyment or pleasure. Knowing that the body is breathing all by itself. And then moving attention into the hips and pelvis. And noticing any tension, any hold in there. And releasing, letting go of whatever is not needed anymore. Inviting the awareness to flow into the legs and all the way down through the legs. And as you follow the awareness through the legs, again allow intention to release. Letting go of any tightness in the legs and softening the feet and toes. And broadening awareness to include the whole breathing body. The body that is filled with breath. And many sensations. Noticing sensations. Noticing emotions. Even thoughts can be allowed in this experience. As long as we don't get lost in thoughts or emotions. 
or simply observing a change in the weather, like all those changes that's happening that are happening in the nature right now. Noticing sensations coming and going, emotions flowing through you, thoughts arising, floating through your mind. Observing the whole of your body, all of your experience with friendly curiosity. Letting the soothing breath to hold and cradle all of your experience. When you notice the mind getting lost in narratives, see if it is possible to simply let go, let go of stories, ideas, letting go of the past or the future, and coming into the present moment, to this body, to this breath, again and again. Is happiness possible in this moment? Now just letting go of all the effort. Letting the mind be free. And this uh, poem is by David White.
enough. These words are enough. If not these words, this breath. If not this breath, this sitting here, this opening to life we have refused again and again until now. Until now. Let's begin to bring the practice to a close. Connecting with the space around you, the physical space. And then just preparing yourself to come back to this shared space. Opening your eyes on the sound of the bell. Taking your time. There is no rush. Okay. Thanks so much for for joining. Uh, yeah. So you're very welcome to unmute your microphones and um, say what what you feel you would like to say, either goodbye or um, whatever makes. Oh, just go with the flow. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much for joining. Thanks very much. Bye bye, everyone. Good evening. Thank Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.